just 20,000, but hey. He wasn't all that demanding when he come down to it. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's a, a much different boss right here. I suppose I could repair my equipment since my uh, uh, <laughs> my, my pyro glove is broken. Let's see. There we go. There it is. The Dragon Slayer bow is kind of cool. Um, when you use it on the painting guardians in the rafters, they catch that thing and they just fall off. So you can take them out at a distance and not have to worry about them. Because when you bag them with a normal arrow, they'll take some damage, then they'll start running towards you. Which isn't really great. Oh boy, this fight. Now, the last time I streamed this thing, it went a little differently. He, uh, he just fell out of level geometry and died, which was, uh, unexpected. I know it's a thing that can happen, but... I don't know how one would set it up. One ugly son of a... Please stop. Oh boy. You know what's cool about a fight where you can't see what's going on? Nothing. <laughs> At least, I wouldn't be able to tell you if there was anything cool because I can't see what it did. And unfortunately, this boss fight is not really optional. Oh, wait, I forgot something. Grass Crest Shield. Yeah, that adds up. Yes! Okay. I need to find it. Um, there it is.
Such a weird fight. Because if you if you can get that the orange shard ring, it suddenly becomes much easier. Because you can go all over the arena and actually fight him. But before that point, you're stuck on just a few outcroppings of rock, and um, that part's not fun. <laughs> There we go. I think that's where I'm headed. Oh, where's Solaire? Okay, well, this part is kind of the low point of the game, but uh, it's manageable. For the most part, you just need to stay out of the way of the dragon butts, and uh, things go fairly smoothly. Of course, I say that now. <laughs> I'll probably manage to get eaten by a chaos demon or something stupid. I think this is, this is just going to be a soul of the hero. Great hero. Good. I'll take that. Now, there's a... There's a bonfire over here somewhere. Oh, I think it I think it's just at the bottom of this structure here. But there's an item over here. Okay. I bet it's right here. And there we go. Okay, that's... Is that the thing I'm looking for? I don't think it is. There's a landmark. Ah. Alright, hold on. Maybe that is where I need to be. Oh, okay, here it is. This is the ramp. So we're going to get invaded at the same time we fight another Daughter of Chaos, which is a little irritating, but it's manageable. I mean, it's it's just Kirk again, and he thinks I'm, uh, he thinks I'm Kong Noonien Singh.
awful lot of dudes in here. There we go. And of course, there's a chaos demon right up there. And they have a bad tendency of wrecking your weapons, which is uh, kind of rude. This is a big pile of googly eyes. Uh oh. Who says something? Back to work. Here we go. Drop a... Oh, darn. Those guys can occasionally drop red titanite chunks. Sometimes I come here to farm them when I want to get my... a uh, When I want to get a fire weapon upgraded. But uh, he's not playing nice. The thing is, there's only like three or four Chaos Demons in the whole area, so the odds of getting a drop are somewhat... Another? That's three of them. Wow. Okay, so you can just find three of these rare rings lying around. One in the Funhouse, one in the New Londo Ruins, and one here in uh, Happy Fun Town. Lost Isolith. That's what it, I mean. It was Lost Isolith, but I found it. Yep. There's uh, there's the daughter of chaos. She's itching for a fight. And there's Kirk. Oh, we, we, we are absolutely going to have to deal with two of them at, at a time. Oh, that's cute. Ooh. There's a big old chaos storm there. Kind of cute. There we go. Neither of these two are going to bother me ever again. Oh, wow. He was worth a lot. Okay, did I get both the drops here? Because I... Oh, right. I skipped that one. So I could get that rare ring of sacrifice that I, I used for one scene. Oh, it's a little hero. That was worth it. Okay. There's the boss door. I will not be going there just yet. There's a pyro here. Yeah, the chaos fire whip. Cool. And then we're going to open that uh, walkway so that in case I fail with the bed, um, I have a decent way back. At least once I find it. Here we go. So there's a uh, Titanite Demon on the bridge I'm going to go to, and it's the only one in the game that respawns. So if you're using a soul weapon, that is the guy to see. Alright, what we're going to need... 
Um, what's it called? Okay, we're a little heavy now. Oh, and I want to get... Hold on. Purple Moss Clump? That should do the trick. Oh, no, the other thing I need is going to be the Prism Stones, because I keep getting lost down here. There's not even much to this area. I just keep having to keep track of where the heck I am. Oh, look, there's Sigmire. Well, let's get started. Three. Four. That might have screwed it up. One, two, three, four. Actually, I'll almost kill the last one. Three, four. Is there a way I can hit the one in the hallway, or no? I don't know, dude. This is gonna be rough. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, it must be the wall. No, don't tell me. Those monsters making life difficult for you. You need not be ashamed. We're all in the same boat, you know. I really have run up quite a debt to you. Perhaps the time has come. Oh yeah? Well, that's good. If you don't want to see ads, of course, you can always subscribe, and tw subscriptions are 20%. Oh my god, I feel so filthy. Um, friend, I have an idea. A good one, really. I will rush those dire fiends, and you can slip away in the confusion. Please, friend, I owe you much more than this. By the honor of the Knights of Katarina, allow me to assist you. And now, I go. Don't be slow. He's stuck. Uh, game. You, uh... You gonna go pick a fight, dude? Sigmire. Sigmire. Oh no. This is uh, suboptimal. Get him, Sigmire. Hey, I totally understand. All right, I'm going to try reloading and see if that helps, but uh, I think the quest might be broken, which means I don't get a tight night slab. And there's no sign of Sigmire. Oh, there he is. I think I fucked it. Oh well, we got a red titanite chunk at least. And that, I missed the drop that that other one had, so that kind of sucks. I think I'm not going to see him uh, in his resting place. Oh, 
Oh well. I can never get that quest to work right. Um, I did once. I was shocked by the ending. And very sad. But Ooh, red titanite slab. If I can get enough chunks, I can get up to uh, a plus ten uh, fire longsword, which I may or may not need. Alright, we've got a stairway up here, and is there going to be another chaos demon? Yep. Look at all those arms. He just wants to hug you. No touching. There we go. And no drop. Okay, how many red chunks do we have? Just four. That's not going to be nearly enough. Okay, is this the way out? Okay, is there a stairway on this side? Okay, this leads up here, but it's not particularly helpful. Is this the way? bummed that that didn't quite work. Oh, that's right. I killed Kirk, so now I have a bunch of souls. So I need... I really need to not screw it up uh, when this this huge lump tries to kill me. Oof. Crystal Lizard. Please die. No sign of Solaire. Something is wrong here. Did I need to meet him at the Altar of the Sun for him to move? Yeah, I mean, it's not always a, uh, I mean, for the most part, the game is fair, but uh, I am about to fight the bit of chaos, so uh, your mileage may vary. <laughs> oh, get back here. But yeah, triggering story events is something I never paid enough attention to. Like, I know how some of them work. Well, I think the Altar of Sunlight is one that I can warp to, so at the least, I'm not going to have to travel a whole lot to uh, to get there. You know, I'm not really risking anything at the table. Alright, let's take a little walk up to the Daughter of Chaos. Boy, we died a lot today. 
I think we started at six, and we're now up to 13. Totally. There is actually a Dark Souls inspired metal band out there. I do not remember the name. I want to say it's Soul Mass. But it, there is a band that I think they're a straight up death metal band. But they uh, all their song titles are right out of the games, which is kind of fun. Yeah, it's like I know it exists, but I definitely do not remember the name. I want to say Soul Mass, but I might... I'm almost certain I'm wrong. I'm sure Google will tell you if you ask for, ask it for a Dark Souls-inspired metal band. <laughs> That was the wrong button. Here we go. Okay, we can get four levels. Um, yeah, let's jack that vitality up so I can take some more punches. And let's see, Sunlight Altar, good. Let's see if Solaire is hiding out there. Nope. Okay, well, enough screwing around. Let's go get the bed of chaos. You know, I really should get a proper webcam and maybe some lighting in here. <laughs> I mean, I, it, it fits the aesthetic the way it looks right now, but... Um, I'm not even sure if there's any point having a cam on me if it's going to look like this. I'm kind of torn. I didn't level up that bonfire at all. Oh well. Kingdoms of Flesh. Okay, that uh, another awesome name. I gotta say, one of my favorite band names of all time has got to be Three Inches of Blood. I mean, if that's what you're gonna call yourself, you really gotta mean it, and I think they did. Still no Solaire. I'm a little concerned about this. Alright. Let's... You know what? I'm going to be smart about this. There we go. Let's at least be a little bit sneaky here. Shit. Not sneaky enough.
bit of bonking. All right, time for the bit of bullshit. Oh, let's, uh... Let's see if I can get another, uh... Red chunk. Hey, hey, bonus. We got six of them. I think we need nine total. Oh, excuse me, my stomach is uh, kind of churning a bit. Okay, I'm fine. And another one. This must be my lucky day. Okay, we're going to use the Chloranthi ring and strip off all this cumbersome armor. I should consider a more stable shield. How dare you? There we go. Now, the dirty trick. Since the bed of chaos maintains its state, and when you quit and come back, whoops, you uh, wind up outside the boss door. So I kind of saved myself part of the trip by doing this. Jeez. Almost got me with gravity. Oh, I should probably teleport out of here. This looks dangerous. Okay. Back outside the gate. Okay. 
Oof, are we? Oof. All right, home stretch. And there's the bed of chaos in the cheapest, dirtiest way possible. What's the next place to go? I think we'll hit Firelink. So we can go down and uh, do the catacombs. I do not like the catacombs. Oh, let's see what uh, Framed has to say now that I've talked to... You sorry fool. You could not be the chosen one. He doesn't even voice those lines? Okay, then. Silly snake. Alright, so we're down to Seetha Scaleless, Grave Lord Nido, and Lord Gwyn. And it has been three and a half hours of this, <laughs> so... I'm gonna go ahead and get some levels. Eh, that's good. So a big thank you to everyone who came by and watched and chatted. I always appreciate the views. And as for now, I'm going to go ahead and put up the end slate. And uh, we will raid shortly after that. I first have to find someone to raid. But until next time, and next time will be tomorrow morning. I, I will uh, after the stream. Um, but until next time, you can find my nonsense here on Twitch at Spook Plays Games, Twitter Spook Plays Games, and YouTube Spook327. Tomorrow morning, I'll be back with Call of the Lamb or something. I'm no, I don't know yet. As for now, please stand by uh, for a raid. Have a nice night, and thanks again.